We're gonna go live again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just had to, you know, take a little minute to regroup. But um, I wanted to welcome you guys to the Radiant Faces Beauty and Self Love Show. Go ahead and share your post. I know people are still coming back on. I know there's people right now on the beauty page, on the uh, business page, but there's people that are still coming back on to my personal page. So just bear with me for a moment. Go ahead and share the post. Hey, April. Sorry we were having a little bit of technical difficulties there. But um, go ahead and share the post. And actually, if you want to do a watch party, we understand now that with the watch parties, we're not able to um, see everyone that is actually viewing. So if you are having a watch party, please um, speak for all your guests so that we can enter them into the contest. Um, and then basically, you know, we just want to make sure that everybody has a voice. And, you know, if, if they have questions that they're able to, you know, send in their, their questions. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Radiant Faces Beauty and Self Love Show. This is the show where we teach you how to be your best radiant self ever through beauty and self-care. We're going live tonight from the Good Tidings Studio. Yes! We are so, so, you know, just honored to be here. And, you know, we got a crew that's been working everything out. They got all their equipment going, and they've just been setting me up all afternoon. And I just appreciate them so much. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Reagan Abdul-Malik. Some people refer to me as Radiant Reagan. I'm the mother of four children, beautiful children, Amira, Jabril, Jabbar, and Yasmin. They are absolutely so amazing. They have been a part of my team uh, since we started this show. Just turn around a little bit. Since we started this show several weeks ago, it's been, you know, some, some time in the planning as well, but they have really stood by my side and, and, and helped me um, to create this, this show. Um, I wanted to talk to you all about the concept of my show. Um, and I've said this a couple times, I, um, I created this show based on my nonprofit. Um, my nonprofit is called Radiant Faces. I um, created my nonprofit three years ago um, when I was coming out of a very dark time in my life. That's when I thought I found my purpose. I thought my purpose was to help other women to also find the light. I wanted to help women to a point where I said, what can I offer someone? What, what is it that I can offer? And immediately I thought, beauty tips, makeup techniques. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll go to you know women's shelters or jails or cancer clinics or you know just, just various facilities and I will try to um, you know just make the ladies feel good, right? So that's what I thought you know my purpose would be. And God spoke to me and said, no, you have to go deeper. Your purpose is to show women how to love themselves. I thought this was kind of funny. I was like, oh, am I really hearing this? And it really struck a chord in me because God then said, but you have to teach by example and you have to learn to love yourself. And that's how I truly came up with the concept of Radiant Faces. It's not just about makeup. It's not just about beauty. It's not about going to these various facilities where these women are transitioning through adversity. It's about showing them that by caring for themselves and loving themselves, that'll do far more than any makeup or any type of beauty tips or techniques would. The, way, the reason why I named it Radiant Faces is from this scripture, Psalm, Psalm 35 and 4. It says, those that look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. And that's what I had to do. I had to go and show them that I was not ashamed, that I wanted to be radiant and I wanted to help them find the light as well. So I've never really explained my nonprofit, you know, on the show, but I wanted to take the time to do that. Is that okay, everybody? Let me know if it's okay. Hit me with a thumbs up. <laughs> Hi, Shawnee. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the show. I created this show at, actually because just the time that we're living in right now, I feel that everyone can use a little encouraging. It's not about going to these facilities, you know, where these women are, you know, hurting. Or It's about all of us, what's going on with everybody is going through something right now. So it's like, let me figure out a way 
social media, let me figure out a way to come on, share something with the, you know, women, and even men are joining us now. I'm like, come on, the more the merrier because we're all people, we're all cut from the same cloth, and all of us, kind, we, we, we want that connection. So I'm just blessed to be here. Thank you, Good Tidings Studio, <laughs> for having us in your beautiful, 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 amazing facility tonight. And um, so yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just explain a little bit about the background of the show, but let's go ahead and instead of, you know, I love to dance and love to bring the party, but right now, before we get into the specifics of tonight, I do want to do a little bit of a grounding. Now, we've done this several weeks, you know, the other, the other shows that we had, and people are like, ooh, I really like that grounding, what is that? So it's just something that I've learned um, through, you know, basically it's just another part of a meditation where you bring yourself to a space where you feel, you, you feel calmness, you feel peace, and you release whatever tension, whatever stress you're going through, this is the time to do that. So let's do our little grounding. So what I want, to, want you to do, can I go just a little? Release everything from your day. Take a deep breath in, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let everything go. Continue to mindfully breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Bring yourself to heart center and notice all the peace that surrounds you. Continue to mindfully breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Pushing anything down into the ground that you don't want and allowing all that you do want to encompass you. Notice the sensations of your breath and allow your thoughts to come and go. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. Realize how present you are in this moment. Simply be here now with your breath and connect with the calmness that's within you. Last breath, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And I thank you for joining me tonight. All right, that was awesome. <laughs> I love to just do that um, anytime, you know, you can do a grounding whenever you want. Some people, when they wanna do a grounding, they take their shoes off, they walk on the earth, and they actually place their feet on the ground. Um, anytime you feel stressed or you're feeling anxious, do a grounding. It's, um, it's amazing. It's a great exercise, and it will totally bring you into the present moment. So let me tell you what you can expect tonight, okay? So we are going to do a split screen tonight with Corey Shonder of Lavender Lashes, right? Because the show is all things lavender. So I had to wear my, you know, my fancy little lavender dress because we're talking about all things lavender tonight, and lavender lashes are my most favorite lashes. I love them, love them, love them. So I've asked Corey to do a split screen with me and come on the show. And of course she said, okay, this will be so much fun. So we're going to show you all how to put on your lashes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to talk about for self care, we're going to get, we're going to get into what is your bedtime routine? What is, I'm going to show you how to create a soothing nighttime routine just to help you kind of get more rest that's a big part about self-care. How can I set myself up for success where I am, you know, getting the rest that I need? And for the self-love topic for tonight, we're gonna, I'm gonna speak on the topic of forgiving yourself and forgiving others, okay? So we've got Corey coming on on the split screen. We've got um, the self-care all about your bedtime routine, getting all the rest that you can, right? And self-love, we're gonna talk about forgiving yourself and forgiving others. So right now, let's go ahead and go into our, so Corey, go ahead and send me the request to do the split. Who's ready for Corey? Who's Woo! ready for Corey? Show me, show me that you're ready for Corey. So Corey's gonna send me the request for the split screen. 
Corey, let me try to let me try to find Corey. Who's ready for Corey? Oh, Corey, I don't see the request. I'm looking for the request. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I would sneak around in the background. Oh my goodness! Hey, hey Corey! Real life. <laughs> yeah. So Corey, we are not doing the split screen. Corey is here! In the flesh. <laughs> All right. So this is Corey Shonder of Lavender Lashes. And I've asked Corey to join us tonight because, like I said, Lavender Lashes are my absolute favorite lash line. And I wanted her to come and demonstrate how to apply lashes. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> so April says she's ready. April, did you bring, did you get lashes already and got the glue? And Genevieve, do you have lashes already? Like, are y'all gonna do this with us? <laughs> Let's see what they say. And then we've got this. So Corey, we have this side over here as well. Okay. Oh, hey guys. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so it's lavender night and you guys, this is so crazy. I don't own any lavender clothing. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I went into my closet and I was like, ooh, I get to wear some lavender. Nothing. <laughs> so in my lash bars, when I'm like out and about and doing my lavender thing, I always wear black. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's cheap. like the makeup artist, yes. stylist mentality. So I wore this with like a little radiantly bright <laughs> skirt. So, you know, that was She's works. radiant and I'm lavender. So we did a little flip flop. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> So um, tonight for the lash tutorial, uh, you can use any lashes that you might have and then you can also reference this back um, if you want to go and do lashes another time. But you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need, of course, some lashes. So for us today, we're going to use lavender lashes in the style of Leslie, which is Reagan's favorite. It's my absolute she favorite. She's trying to get me to change the name. <laughs> I'm going to have a petition <laughs> for everyone to sign because I believe that these should be either Radiant or Reagan. Well, we maybe can whip up something <laughs> special down the line that would be special just for you. Okay, that'll um, so work. So you need your lashes and some scissors, and then you'll also need some lash glue. Um, I'll go into it a little bit later of why this is my very favorite lash glue um, of all of the lash glues in all the land. Um, but yeah, so those are just the main things you need. You'll need a mirror, you'll need, you know, those little things too. But for the main little ingredients, it's the lashes, the scissors, and the glue. So, do we want to put them on now? We can put them on now. And Shannon said, bring them to camera. He wants, I okay. think he wants, he said you should have a this special edition name, Radiant. Ooh. I think he wants to actually see them. All right, so we're going to pop open this box in a second. So, um, the lashes always come in like a little sanitary plastic yes, wrap. Yes, we love that. And then, um, so the thing about lavender, I guess I can give them my little spiel. Okay. Yeah. So um, I created Lavender, I guess now four years ago. Um, I work a lot in the cheerleading industry and then I do makeup artistry, that whole thing. So I do a lot of special occasion stuff, you know, bridal, prom, editorial work, everything in between. And so I found that lashes make such an impact on your overall look. And so the problem with a lot of lashes you would buy, you know, from a drugstore or even, you know, some of the higher end Sephora, you know, that kind of thing, they're not, super comfortable. You know, they look great, but they're just not always like something you want to wear on your eyes for a long time. So I kind of had a light bulb moment one day and was like, uh, lashes that are comfortable. Yes. And then on top of that, lashes that you can use over and over again, it all just kind of fell into place. So um, a little info about the lashes, they're made with um, silk on a cotton band. So the band that these guys are made on, let me go ahead and yeah, room. put these up to the camera. So this little fluffy part is made out of silk. And then this little band, you see the thick piece there is made out of cotton so it's flexible and I'll come over here and show yes. you on this side so Perfect. yeah but um yeah so basically they're round in shape so they can fit the shape of your eye because you know a lot of traditional lashes are made straight so you know you get a lot of tension they want to pull up and you know poke up on mm -hmm. one side and that whole thing and so we kind of solve that issue by having them be round so yeah that's the deal with I that. love these lashes. The they are so amazing. But yeah, so to put these on Reagan, I'm just gonna take them out of their little case. And then you can use tweezers. I usually kind of do um, a little sneaky way of just pulling the lashes. <laughs> oh, from I need the to band. learn that. Yeah, I, okay, I've shown them know that. that. I would say use tweezers. Okay. Um, just to pick, so you wanna pick from this little outside piece. Where's the camera? Yeah. See that little ledge, guys, right here? Mm -hmm. So you want to pick from And there. April said she went to go grab her scissors. Oh, cool. Perfect. 
And Shanna says those are fire. Hey. Okay, and he did the three. Mm -hmm. Three fire. So ones. you just pull them off of there, and then I just set them back in the little box for a sec, because we'll come back to it. So pull them off of the case okay. and into the box. I love these lashes. These transform. You guys didn't know I wasn't wearing my lashes. Oh, <laughs> 